G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play Ellie's rendition of Take On Me from The Last of Us Part Two. Of course, originally performed and written by AHA. And in this lesson, I'm gonna teach you two different ways of playing this song. And I guess in a post-apocalyptic world, you have time to practice your bar chords because Ellie's version is comprised just of bar chords. So I'm also gonna teach you an easier version that requires no bar chords and you're just gonna need a capo on the fourth fret of your guitar. Now, if you wanna master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you wanna improve on your finger picking, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. Alrighty, so I'm gonna start by teaching you the easy finger picked version, and this requires no bar chords, so it's gonna be better for the beginners out there. And if this finger picked version is too hard for you, then I'll teach an easy strummed version and you can skip to that in the timestamp below. Or you can skip to the second version, which is how Ellie actually plays it in the video game. All right, so let's start with a verse and there's two lines of tab here, which is quite simple. Now for our finger picking rules, your thumb will take care of the sixth, fifth and fourth strings and your index middle and ring finger will take care of the third, second and first strings respectively. They ideally shouldn't pluck any other strings other than the ones have been assigned to. So we're gonna start with an A minor chord now our picking pattern is going to go something like this. We're going to start with a pinch. So in this case, it's the bass note and the second string together. And then we have a quick run of three notes. So that will be the fourth, second and bass note. And then we hold that last note out for a beat and then we end with a fourth string pluck. So in total, Next, we're gonna to go to a D slash F sharp. So you can play that like this. So index and middle on the second frets of the sixth and third string, and then ring finger on the third fret of the second string. Now our picking pattern's gonna be very similar in terms of timing, but we're just gonna be plucking some different notes here. So the sixth and third together, and then the three note run is fourth, second, and bass. And then we end on the fourth string again. So the second bar. And then we're gonna to go to a G chord, but this can be just a really lazy G chord. So you can just put your either your middle finger or your ring finger um, down on the third fret of the sixth string. And we'll start with that pinch. So sixth and second string this time. The three note run goes fourth string, second string and bass note. And then we end on the fourth string again. So the third bar. And then we're gonna to go to a C chord, pluck the fifth string, fourth string, and then go to a C slash B. So your ring and middle finger will swap strings and they'll both be on the second frets of the fifth and fourth string. And you're gonna pluck the fifth and fourth string. And those are all on beat. So one and two and three and four and... And that's it for the first line of tab, which sounds like this. Next we get to the second line of the verse and the first two bars are identical to the first line of tap. When we get to the third bar, we're gonna change chords. Instead of a G, we're gonna play an E minor and we're gonna pinch the sixth and third strings together. And then our three note run will be fourth, second and bass note. And then we end on the fourth string. And then we go to a C chord and we're going to be applying a finger picking pattern here. So. We're gonna start by pinching the bass and third strings and our three note run again, which is fourth, second, bass, and, and on the fourth string. So those last two bars. And all together for the verse.
Next we get to chorus number one and there's three lines of tab here. So for our first line tab, we're gonna start with this easy G chord shape and we're not gonna start with a pinch here. We're just gonna start with a bass note and then we're gonna do that three note run. So fourth, second bass and then end on the fourth string. So the first bar. Then we're gonna to go to a D chord. Now the rhythm for the finger picking pattern is the same, but we're gonna be plucking some particular strings here. So fourth and third strings together. And then that three note run is fourth, second, fourth. And then we hold that out and end with another fourth string. So one and two and three and four and. Then we go to an E minor. We're gonna pinch the sixth and third strings together. And then our three note run is fourth, second and bass note. And then we end on the fourth string, so. For the fourth bar, we're just gonna strum the C chord and then strum the D chord. And in total for the first line of tab. That gets repeated through twice. And for the second line of tab, it's almost identical, except when we get to the fourth bar, we're going to be playing the C for one picking pattern. And it's similar to that finger picking pattern that we had in the verse. So a pinch on the fifth and third strings, three note run, which is the fourth, second bass note, and end on fourth. And the second line of tab for this first chorus. And the third line in tab is almost identical except for that final C. We're just gonna strum it and hold it out. So all together for chorus one. Now for the second chorus, it's almost identical, except the second line of tab is played through twice. And then the outro is just the same as that second line of tab, except when we get to the E minor, we're just gonna hit that and end the song. Now if the easy finger picking is still too hard for you and you just wanna strum and sing along, this is how we're gonna do it. For the verse, there's two lines of chords. So we have A minor, D, G, and then C, and C slash B. And then for the second line of chords, it's A minor, D, E minor, and C. Now we have two strumming patterns that we'll use here. The main strumming pattern will be down, down, up, up, down, up. And the second shorter strumming pattern, which will only occur for the C to C slash B, will be down, down, up. So in total, the verse will sound like this. And for the chorus, there's two lines of chords here too, which is really easy. So we have G, D, E minor, C to D. And that first line of chords is repeated through twice. And the second line of chords is almost identical, except we just have a C at the end, not C to D. And that short strumming pattern is gonna be used for that C to D. So the simple chorus sounds like this.
now let's learn how Ellie actually plays it in the video game. So let's start with a verse and there's two lines of tab here. We're gonna start with a C sharp minor bar chord like this. We're gonna start by pinching the bass and second strings together, holding that out. Then we have a three note run, which is fourth, second and bass note. Hold that out and then we hit the fourth string by itself, so. And then we're gonna to go to an F sharp bar chord. So it's the same as an F, just up one fret. We're gonna start by pinching the sixth and third strings together. And then we have that three note run, which is fourth, second, bass. And then we end with fourth string again. And then we go to a B bar chord like this. We're gonna start by pinching the fifth and second strings together. And then a three note run, which is fourth, second, bass and then we end with the fourth string, so. And then we go to an E chord like this. Now this is a caged system shape of a C chord. So if you took a C chord like this, but then shifted it up and also took the open strings with you, that's what you'd get. It's an E chord with a C shape. Now this is a bit tricky to play and you can play it like this full way if you want to, but in reality, the song only hits a couple of these strings. So it's a fifth string, fourth string, and then she switches down to this E slash D flat. So you just put your middle finger down onto the sixth fret of the fifth string, and we're gonna pluck the fifth and fourth string. So. so you can fret this whole shape, and I would suggest that you try to do it if you can, because it's good practice, but you don't necessarily have to if you just want to hit those two notes. And the first line tab in total. So that's the first line of tab. The second line of tab is almost identical except for the third and fourth bars. So instead of going to this B chord in the third bar, we're gonna to go to a G sharp minor like this. So it's the same as this F sharp, up two frets, and you're gonna lift your middle finger. We're gonna start by pinching the sixth and third strings, and then our three note run is fourth, second, bass, then we end with the fourth string. And then for the final bar, we're gonna play this E chord, and we're gonna pinch the fifth and third strings, and then our three note run, which is fourth, second, bass, and then we end with the fourth string. So that's it for the verse, which sounds like this all together. Next we get to the first chorus and we're gonna start with the B chord and we're not gonna start with the pinch here, we're gonna start with the bass note by itself. Our three note run is fourth, second, bass and then we have the fourth string by itself. So the first bar. And then we go to our F sharp bar chord and this is gonna be the same as the verse. And then we go up to G sharp minor, and this is gonna be the same way we played it in the verse. And then we go up to this E chord, we're gonna strum that, and then shift it up two frets, the exact same shape, and strum those middle four strings as well. So that's the first line of tab, which sounds like this. That's repeated through twice. And then for our second line tab, it's almost identical except for the final bar. We're gonna be plucking this E shape with the picking pattern. And that's that picking pattern's the same as the one that we had in the verse. And then the third line of tab is almost identical except for this E, we're just gonna strum it out and hold it out. So the chorus all together.
So now I'll be doing two playthroughs of the song. The first playthrough will be the easier version, and then the second playthrough will be the no capo version, or Ellie's version from the video game. Feel free to play these back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, 
Or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.